In this video, we will demonstrate the proper maintenance of the generator heating element. We have several pictures detailed here that exhibit good maintenance, poor maintenance, and very poor maintenance. The first picture here shows a generator that is bare aluminum. While, while none of the orifices are clogged or obstructed, we do need the presence of a light calcium coating present on the racetrack area for proper steaming characteristics. In this case, this generator would require seasoning, which we'll, be, we'll cover slightly later in the video. In this picture here, as you can see, there's a very light calcium coating in, within the racetrack. None of the vertical steam ports or the horizontal water ports are obstructed. In this video picture, you can see one water port partially obstructed and the second one completely obstructed. This will affect performance greatly. And you can also observe the excessive scale buildup on the racetrack and on the center island and on the outer island. In this picture, you can see the outer steam ports visible, unobstructed. However, these two here are completely obstructed with scale buildup. This again will affect steaming performance. In this picture, there's excessive scale, loose residue on the racetrack area, but the center island has several restricted vertical steam ports. And this last picture, again, loose scale debris, and the outer steam ports are completely obstructed all the way around. All this will impact the steaming performance with the exception of this condition here. As demonstrated on the actual steamer, these are your two horizontal water inlet ports where the water is injected into the racetrack. These inner vertical steam ports and the outer vertical steam ports is how we redirect steam down below where your food product is in the toast chain. And there's very minimal scale buildup and the objective is to maintain this surface condition if at all possible at all times. However, certain water conditions will result in scale buildup that must be removed on a monthly basis. If it's very aggressive, you may need to use a suitable citrus delimer or white vinegar. In this video, we will demonstrate how to properly maintain your cheese vultures generator heating plate. The inspection should be conducted on a monthly basis and you should remove the excess buildup using various instruments as detailed here. A wire brush and various sizes of tubular brushes, you know, plastic, and small screwdriver. Turn the power switch off and unplug the power cord. Allow the unit to completely cool down before proceeding. Remove the spatula. Remove the liner. Remove the top cover. Remove the rear chimney. Take these accessories to your three compartment sink and wash accordingly and air dry. Re carefully remove the wing nut, lefty loosey. Remove the generator lid. Remove the stainless steel diffuser and inspect the generator surface. As you can see here, this one demonstrates very little buildup. None of the orifices are obstructed. This is a perfectly working generator that should be maintained in this condition at all times. Next, we will demonstrate a generator that does need more in-depth maintenance. With the generator area exposed, inspect all of the vertical steam ports 
for any buildup or obstructions, as well as the two horizontal water injection ports and the racetrack area. Using a suitable tubular brush, okay, go into each orifice top to bottom in a circular pattern to ensure they are completely unobstructed and clear. Repeat it on all the outer steam ports and the inner steam ports. Next, insert into the water inlet ports to clean them. Okay. Repeat it as many times as necessary to restore proper steam ports. Next, take a wire brush and scrape off just the excess scale buildup within the racetrack area. You do not need to remove all of the scale buildup. Leave behind a thin powder coating, which is required for proper steaming characteristics. As you can see, this buildup was very minimal and was easily removed with the wire brush and tubular brushes. Water conditions vary by region, therefore your generator may exhibit excessive scale that does not respond well to wire brushes or tubular brushes. If that is the case, you will need to use a citrus-based delimer or white vinegar to delime the racetrack area to strip the scale buildup. Take a clean cloth that's damp with water and wipe away any loose residue to remove it completely from the generator. Okay. Next, reassemble your accessories and place the unit back into operation. Test for proper operation before returning to service. Next, we will demonstrate how to deline the generator if the buildup was more excessive. If the generator has excessive scale buildup, take white vinegar or your citrus-based delimer and pour it into the cold generator and fill it up to the minimum line. Okay. You will need to allow this to sit six to eight hours or overnight if you are using white vinegar. If you are using a citrus-based delimer, follow that manufacturer's recommendations. Okay. After six to eight hours or overnight, you need to remove the excess vinegar using cloth or napkins to absorb it. With the vinegar solution or the lime solution removed, okay, take your wire brush and remove any remaining residue. Use the tubular brush and clean all the vertical steam ports and the, the two water inlet ports. Next, take a clean cloth towel, dampen with clean water, and wipe away any remaining residue. Okay. At this stage, carefully plug the power cord into the outlet, turn the power switch on, and allow the unit to preheat for approximately five to 10 minutes to help purge some of the remaining solution which will burn it off. Using heat resistive gloves and with the unit at operating temperature run at least a minimum of five steam cycles so that the water can flash into steam and help purge any remaining deliming solution or white vinegar. You may need to press this bottom lever in as you push the steam button.
Again, repeat this five times. Next, we will season the generator using a cup of water mixed with two to three tablespoons of baking soda. Stir the mixture until milky white. And very carefully pour it on the hot racetrack area gradually. With the seasoning process completed, you can take a clean, damp towel and just wipe off any excess. Once again, a thin scale coating on this racetrack is very imperative for the operation and proper steaming characteristics of your steamer. At this stage, reassemble all the accessories carefully using heat resistive gloves and return the unit to operation.